world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It's West Ham United, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And a look at the West Ham 11. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Well, no let-up, plenty of pressure. Salah now. Effective challenge. Ozim Hen. Da Silva. Axel Di Sassi. The Hammers finding space on the flank. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And players waiting at the far post. Still possibilities. Making sure nothing untoward happened. The referee has given the advantage to Real Madrid. Now, let's see what they can do here. A good and fair challenge. Karim Adeyemi. Ricardo Pepe. Pepe. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Knezhevich. Now with Bellingham. Bafode Diakite. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. The ball back with West Ham now. Nikola Milenkovic. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Milenkovic Morato well timed tackle and they might forge ahead and it has arrived the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final well here we can see just how good this goal is it has everything skill pace and power there was no stopping him there well, back underway and 1-0 it is let's we'll see what happens next and it's with Da Silva Axel Di Sassi
time in a position of menace. Now just the tackle that was needed. Bianco with it. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. Second half underway with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing. Couldn't keep the ball. Knesevic. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. A decisive clearance it was. Well, no stopping him. Oh, a vital interception. Oh. Nikola Milenkovic. Sassi Ricardo Pepe Sala trying to really get at the opposition here and let's give credit to the defending Bianco with it So a half an hour remaining. Now with Koch. Salah. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Victor Ozimhen. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Now sliding in field. Angles it back. Great defending. Cook in possession. Daniel. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Ricardo Pepe. Promising looking attack from West Ham. But timely defending when it mattered. Ozim Hen. Real Madrid have given it away. Now with Koch. Da Silva. Salah now. A bit wasteful from West Ham. Victor Ozimhen. Determined defending. Ten minutes to go. Salah now. It's with Larson. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here.
And it's with Da Silva. Koch. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Ozim Hen. Now the big question here is, can Real Madrid get over the line? Can they make it a victory? Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Well, the corner played into the box. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Decides to shoot. And there it is! Real Madrid, Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. But what an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has got into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. And that's exactly what they're doing. Trotting over towards their supporters to say thank you. A collective effort always on these occasions. Well, what more can you say? They are the best team in Europe. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. Gotta work to find the freak